how the wrap dress fit into the early 70s. I know that in the exhibition, for example, there was a reconstruction of Studio 54. I mean, how, you know, how the wrap dress was part of Yeah, but life. you know, the wrap dress was not necessarily the dress you wore at Studio 54. That is really the truth. Uh, the wrap dress, what, were, what made it so special? I think because it was both proper and sexy. Once somebody told me that that's the dress that the boyfriend liked and her mother and his mother didn't mind. <laughs> that's in one way of seeing it. Another lady from the south told me, "Oh, I was so, I can't do a southern accent, but <laughs> she said I was so happy when I so, when I found that dress. I had found a way to be sexy during the day." Uh, you know, it was also not expensive. It was, it, it was really easy. The fabric was different. Uh, it was, the, I mean, wrap dresses have always existed. I mean, you know, from the kimono on. But nobody did it in Jersey, or maybe some people did it in Jersey, but nobody did it in printed Jersey. And so it was, and, so, and the prints that my prints are always very feline, you know, they, there's always a movement. So a woman would put it on and, and she would feel good because she felt protected and there was a collar and so she felt like that. But the body was, and men liked it, you know, men really liked it. Men, that's a dress that men remember. And, and they're easy to take off. <laughs> And, you know, and it's just, and you can roll it in a ball, and you could wear it at night and come back the next morning. <laughs> so it, it was, it was, a, it was a, a way to be proper and, and, and sexy, and, and to have, to be a little bit, um, um, because it was also the, the time of, you know, women's liberation and everything. So it was enough of a, of a tailor look because of the, the cuffs and the, and the color, but it was soft. So it was just, I guess it was right. Well, it, it probably must have been right because it's also become a, a movie star in its own right. I mean, it appeared on Civil, Civil Shepherd in Taxi Driver and then, of course, I recently know. on... Amy Adams in American And Russell. every time, the funny thing about, I mean, every, you know, everybody's dress, I mean, all designers get dresses in movies, but what is different about, I mean, what is special about the dress is that the dress becomes a character. Like in Almodovar's movie, uh, Under Your Skin, it's, 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 you know, she becomes, he does all these, um, Banderas does all these operations and it transforms a man into a woman. And that's the dress that he gives it to her. And when I told Almodovar, I said, oh, I was so flattered that you took the, my dress. He said to me, oh, that wasn't an accident, you know, because your dress is an, a symbol for me of a woman. And uh, lately, um, American Hustle, did you see that? American Hustle. Also, you know, when she, she meets him and he has a dry cleaning and he, she gets the dress and all of a sudden, boom, she gets powerful with the wrap dress. And there again, David O. Russell said, you know, the dress was a character in the movie. It was not just a dress on a gown. So, you know, I was, I was, I feel at this point that I am much less important than the dress and I was just a, a way for the dress to, to be. <laughs> <laughs>